Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Scott. If you could hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. That like button, it just lets me be seen more if you hit it. And the subscribe, well, it's nice to have your comments in the about section below so you can tell me what's going on in the video, maybe something I missed or maybe something you think I should be talking about. Now, this is an object from Mars and it's just kind of incredible because I've reported quite a few structures on Mars and well, this is another one. This has an archway. There's a carved archway. You can see it carved inward here. And there's actually a floor that moves inward. And it looks like it goes into a step right here and a step here and goes in. And I'll show you this uh, with a screenshot. And you can see the interior. So you can see it's not rock inside. It's actually dirt that keeps going inward. So it does go pretty deep inside. And look at that guys that's just this is on mars and it's right near the mars rover now yes it is small it is small i mean the doorway itself is about eight inches tall eight inches that's not very tall guys that's pretty small there and the rover the rover you can see the rover top over here part of its camera over here and so you know it's very very close nasa had to have seen this and nasa is never going to talk about it with you now i reported doorways before uh, and they vary from a half a meter to smaller down to about 8 cm and i've reported uh statues and so have other researchers they reported human-like statues that uh, were bipedal and they looked very humanoid in features, but they were all about one foot tall, about one third of a meter tall. And that matches. People make statues uh, a little bit taller than themselves most of the time. You go into the Louvre Museum, you're going to see statues of uh, David and the others by Leonardo da Vinci. And they're a little bit bigger than us, a little bit bigger, a little bit more grand. Well, that's what, you know, artists do. But... This is just kind of incredible. Not only this, there's some other things in this picture that uh, I wanted you to look at. Now, if you take the full scope here, it's just remarkable. It really, really is. And if you come over here just a little bit, you're gonna find that there's some very interesting articles here. Very, very strange. And to me, these look like carved structures carved structures broken artifacts from long ago but 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 here it is here it is there's a pyramid over here and it looks like an ancient pyramid that has sunken into the sand into the dirt itself over thousands of years and just fallen on one side where in ancient egypt they apparently balanced and knew their mathematics well enough to create a pretty solid non-sinking uh, pyramid but this one, even though it's small, it is sinking down on one side. Just wanted to point that out to you. Kind of awesome, kind of bewildering, a little strange. Because, hey, you see that hole there? It looks like a hole, like an entrance to a pipe. These photos are just really interesting. And uh, some of them, like right here, looks like it has a sculpture in the side of the stone. That looks kind of like a face, eye, eye, nose, uh, hair, uh, buttocks down here. Uh, it, it's face, it's fallen to the side, okay? We're looking at it on its side, it looks like. Uh, shoulders. Now, it's really hard to look at these sculptures because, honestly, I mean, when you look at ancient Egyptian sculptures or ancient um, hieroglyphs, sorry, uh, ancient Mayans, Aztecs, it's really hard to interpret what you're looking at, even though you know it's a sculpture. Let's go back to where I was in the photo. Here's the entire photo. And we're going to zoom in over here near the rover top, the camera. And we're going to find that entrance again and get your opinion about that. Guys, how big can I make it? Well, that's about it right there. I can make it about this big. And it really looks like that this is absolute proof that an ancient culture was intelligent enough to carve 
into the local material or use the local material to sculpt it. Um, maybe they use it like we use clay, like a uh, red earth we use to make clay, uh, stucco houses and such. Well, maybe they're doing that too, but it just looks really incredible. Let me show you this uh, close up and I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to change it so you can see the inside of the doorway. Here we are with the screenshot that I promised you. Now this is just a screenshot, totally original, 100%. And what I want to do is see, is there earth or is there rock inside? Is it just a flat rock surface here? And so we will come over here, hit autofocus on Photoscape X. We see a little bit and that's helpful. Add a little bit more light and you can see there is no blue stone inside. There is actually a dirt floor going all the way in. Uh, it just goes in and goes in and goes in. Guys, look at that dirt. There's no blue stone there. Uh, let's go back to original. Pretty incredible, isn't that? And altered and altered again. And you can see the detail. Okay, well, you know, in Petra, they, they made these structures thousands of years ago, and it's just incredible, astronomical, impossible financially to make these things even today. And our tools probably couldn't do it that fast, as fast as they did. It's just absolutely amazing that such things exist. So how did they do it? Why did they do it? What's going on? Why are we finding these things on Mars? Why don't other people find these things? Okay, guys, like and subscribe. Tell me your comments below what the hell is going on. Why NASA is hiding it.